Hello, everyone. I'm now introducing you the latest data recovery equipment of Dolphin Data Lab. That's the DFL SRP USB 3 data recovery equipment. This is one real all-in-one data recovery equipment. It does both data recovery and firmware repair. It also helps users to edit the ID, reset smart, remove password, and repair the firmware failures. Even sometimes when the hard drives have weak heads, users can use the selective head image technology to fix the weak head. With this tool, users can also repair bad sectors or recover data from the bad sectors. So it's one very powerful but very easy to use data recovery equipment. Now I will show you how to connect the hard drive to this data recovery hardware. It's very easy to connect. First, let's check this cable. This is one data cable. We just need to connect to the data cable to the hard drive, and the other side we need to connect to the hardware. This is the SATA data port, SATA zero. So we connect to the data recovery hardware. Another cable. This one is the hard drive power cable. We need to offer power to the hard drive by the DFLSRP hardware. So Let's connect the hard drive by this hard drive power cable. This one we need to connect to the SRP hardware. Simply connect it. Okay. Now we have connected the hard drive to the DFL FRP hardware, and this cable is a USB three cable. So from one side, we need to connect to the DFL SRP hardware. Okay, connect to the USB 3 port. And this side, we need just need to insert to the PC. You can use either laptop or desktop. So it's very easy. Users can install the same software on multiple PC. So this side connect to the PC. And here is another cable. This cable is called the hard drive COM cable. One side we need to connect the COM connector. This is one universal COM connector. Okay. So the other side we need to connect to the DFL SRP hardware. This is a COM port. So now we need to. This is one Seagate hard drive. Only Seagate, Toshiba, and Samsung hard drive have the COM port. Now we need to connect to the Toshiba. The name of the connector is on the back side. This is Samsung, and this one is Seagate. So we need to connect to the COM port. Okay. Now for Seagate hard drive, we have completed the connection. At this time, we can go to the PC and open the software and operate on. The hard drive. Thank you for watching this video.